So I'm from Blythe and I, uh, I, I, I raised my aspirations to, to go into academia because I was inspired by my local environment. I could see that there was a lot of pollution about. Blythe is an ex-coal mining uh, town. I was born in Bor Sudan, a coastal city in uh, Sudan, and I did my um, undergrad at the University of Khartoum. I uh, graduated uh, from the Department of Civil Engineering uh, in 2000, and I worked there uh, for one year as a teaching assistant before moving to the University of Kembe uh, to carry out uh, postgraduate studies, and I worked in Kembe. Um, as a postdoctoral researcher for one year before moving to the I'm from a very small town in the southeast of China. I went to university study engineering in Shanghai. At that time, the metropolis was 24 hours away from my hometown by train. Now it was only take seven hours by high speed train. Throughout my whole life, I have been inspired by a number of people. First of all, my parents nurtured my passion for science since I was very young. My mother was a pharmacist who knows a lot about medications. My father studied chemical engineering in university and then worked as a mechanical engineer in an armament manufacturer for many years. When I was very little, it was normal to see blueprints of machine parts piled up in the corner at home. More interestingly, my father would make small household appliances when he had time. He made uh, fans, audio equipment, vinyl record players, knives and scissors on his own. He would also repair broken items. I was always fascinated by how he seemed to know everything and nothing seems to puzzle him. That really had a great influence on me, in particular my choice of career. I'm very excited to work in an area which requires me to work with social scientists and economists. Why am I here at Durham? Because Durham is a very um, passionate place about interdisciplinarity. It's the perfect place for me to do my work. So if you want to learn about more than just your um, engineering topic, mechanical engineering, but you want to learn about sustainability as well and work with people across the university through our institutes, you'll have the opportunity to meet policymakers and industrialists interested in your specific knowledge, hence my broader interest as well as in soil in sustainability and I'm very passionate at working with this generation of students on sustainability. Uh, we learn from each other in this area and it's very much the student body who are driving higher education institutions to make more of climate, the climate change emergency and to achieve net zero. I was very proud of being part of Department of Engineering, surrounded by talented colleagues who are always there to help each other. I always receive prompt and positive responses from colleagues to my queries and to requests. I'm very proud to be a female engineer. I've been doing what I love and I love what I'm doing. At Durham, I continue my research enthusiasm on renewable energy technology, decarbonizing heating, cooling and power generation technology. Uh, what makes um, this department unique is not just its excellence in uh, research and teaching, um, but it have, um, but the academic community here uh, is very diverse, and I uh, really enjoy working with uh, colleagues uh, from different backgrounds um, who came from um, different parts of the world and um, working together in a very uh, friendly. Uh, environment. I would like to encourage more young generations, in particular female students, to pursue engineering courses or those relevant to sustainable development. Together we can explore engineering research and development, contribute towards a better future for everyone, the nation and the world. Please 
come to Durham and be part of our thriving community.